So they're saying that the length of PS is twice PT. So if I want to find the length of PS, I can use my distance formula. I've got two points, plop them into my distance formula. And remember, distance formula just comes from Pythagorean theorem, so even though it's big and clunky like this, it's not too bad to memorize or to just to know. So I'm just going to plop it on in here. The, the length of PS is going to be x, subtract those x's, square it, add, subtract those y's, square it. So that's the distance from xy to p0, and that's supposed to equal twice the distance from here to here. So subtract those x's, so x minus a minus 2 is x plus 2, squared, y minus 0, squared. And so now it's like, okay, let's make this look familiar. Maybe let's square both sides to see what's happening. So if I square both sides, the square roots will come off. I'm just going to write this as y squared instead of y plus 0 squared. The 2 gets squared, that's a 4, and the square and the square root will undo each other, so I'm getting x plus 2 squared plus y squared. And then I'll go ahead and FOIL this stuff out, expand it to see what's going on. So I've got x squared minus 8x plus 16 plus y squared equals 4 times x squared plus 4x plus 4 plus y squared and then just distribute the 4 and then take it from here. And so now if I start to kind of gather some like terms, maybe I'll throw everything onto this side and see what happens. So if I subtract x squared from both sides, I'll get 3x squared over on this side. If I add 8x to both sides, I'll get plus 24x over on that side. If I subtract 16, those will go away. If I subtract the y squared from both sides, I'll get plus 3y squared over there, and that'll equal 0. And I'm looking, and I'm like, oh, huh. It looks like it's uh, in kind of a standard form for a conic section, because I have x squared and y squared, and the 3's match, so it looks like it's a circle. Uh, let's play with it a bit more, maybe complete the square to get it in standard form. So to complete the square, I want to get the 3 out of the way, up of that, um, away from that x squared. And so now I'm going to complete the square here by uh, having and squaring that number. So half of 8 is 4, squared is 16. But I can't just go around adding 16 to both sides. i got to balance what I did. And I didn't really add 16. I added 3 times 16. So I have to add a 48 over on the left side to balance out what I added. And the whole reason I did that was because that makes a perfect square. That's x plus 4 times x plus 4. It's always half of that middle number there. And then plus that 3y squared. And that's already perfect, right? So if I divide everybody by 3 just to make it look pretty, x plus 4 squared plus y squared. And so I can see that uh, it's a lovely circle with the center of negative 4, 0. And if you wanted the radius, that would be just the square root of 48 over 3. But they don't really care. All they wanted was that it's a circle with the center of negative 4, 0. And that's that. You can tell because the, the coefficients are the same. If you were to, a circle is just really a special form of an ellipse. If you were to go ahead and divide everybody by 48 thirds, you'd get 1 equals x plus 4 squared over 48 thirds plus y squared over 48 thirds. And you would see that it would go right and left the same amount. It went up and down, so that makes, uh, makes a circle.